And we have another story that we are talking about on Live at 5. A car leaves the freeway, crashes through a fence, and ends up in a pond near a local high school. The woman who was in the car managed to get out safely. Jamont Terry arrived on the scene shortly after it happened. He talked to two of the people who helped rescue that woman. Jamont is live in Hales Corners. Jamont. Carol is still unclear what caused two cars to collide um, as they were heading north along I-43 near Hales Corners, but we do know they both veered off the road. Thankfully, Jacob Saxon and his girlfriend stopped to help out. Jacob even jumped in the water. It was terrifying. It's hard to make out this is a Ford Taurus. That's because it's completely submerged in this pond. Jacob Saxon and his girlfriend, Miranda Brannon, witnessed a horrible crash along I-43 near 112. Two cars collided, sending both of them off the interstate. I see her car go off the highway and just fly up the hill. And I look over, and sure enough, there's a car in the pond. Jacob and Miranda pulled over quickly and jumped into action. Miranda called 911. I start running down the, sh down the side of the highway. He came across the first car who ran into a tree. I asked him if he was okay, and he said, yeah, he, nothing hurts. So Jacob focused his attention on the silver car slowly sinking in the pond. Took my flip-flops up and talked lost them into the ditch. I went right into the water. The view from Chopper 4 shows just how far this car traveled before landing in the water. The woman driving broke through a fence before getting trapped inside her car. I could see her climbing out of the window already. Jacob says he knew this woman needed help and she couldn't get her balance. The water was about up to my belly button, I'd say, but the muck was the problem. And that's basically like quicksand. Jacob eventually reached her and extended his hand. She just kept saying, my car gone. My car's gone. Thankfully, this woman is safe, and Jacob says he was only thinking about rescuing her. And she did say thank you. Now back live here along I-43, you can see that there is a DOT camera which likely captured this crash. Investigators are likely reviewing that this evening. There's currently a temporary fence that has been installed along where that car crashed through. Up to 10 people eventually stopped and helped out, but Jacob and Miranda were first on scene, and they tell me, they are thankful that everyone is okay. We're told that both drivers will survive. They went to the hospital and they're likely at home tonight. Reporting live along I-43 through 112 near the Hales Corners Interchange, Jermont Terry, today's TMJ4. Yes, certainly a courageous effort yeah. by Jacob and Miranda. Thanks, Terry.